It's 5.30 and here's what's happening. Members of the community come together with Chester officials to take a stand against gun violence with both sides pledging to work together. Police continued to investigate two shootings near Chester High School last week. Shante Lands joins us live from Chester where many say that they are fed up. Shante. Jessica and Yuki, both the police commissioner and mayor, stood inside police headquarters here and said that they would have a peace rally today. Well, they did in four locations in the city, and also some of those shooting victims are speaking out. A recent spike in shootings across Chester prompted city leaders like Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland and Police Commissioner Otis Blair to walk door to door near Fourth Street and Highland Avenue to engage residents. It should have been going on, but God, thank God it's going on now. Deidre Wilson is a mother of nine. She's wearing a sling on her left arm after she was shot outside of her own home this Sunday before last, trying to protect her children. You heard one gunshot. It hit my porch right here, shattered my window. I pushed my two in the house as I was going in. I took five in the arm. Over near Chester High School, another group made up of alumni and former school officials wore orange for the school's colors. They volunteered to escort the teens to school after two students were shot while walking home last week, and a shootout happened just blocks away from the school the next morning. So many kids don't feel safe going to school, and this cannot continue. We were at the school, high school earlier today. We want them to have a safe corridor to and from school. We come to you, God, together as a community. Back near Fourth and Highland, clergy leaders prayed outside of. Peter's Market Corner store. About three weeks ago, store surveillance video showed a seven-year-old girl and her grandfather injured in a drive-by shooting and broad daylight. Both are relatives of city controller Edith Blackwell. Blackwell herself was shot in her back in 2012 at a Sunoco gas station at 9th and Curlin Streets. The bullet's still in my back from uh, some, some young guy. They were shooting at someone else. Some residents are calling for more than peace walks. We need some police surveillance around here 24 hours a day if it was possible. And the police chief says their detectives will have more access to surveillance cameras throughout the city with the help of residents and businesses. The police commissioner actually wants to have more peace walks like these. The next one will be this Wednesday morning. Reporting live outside of Chester Police Department, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you.